Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I thought I'd share with you this little Bo Peep and her sheep um, lamp. I received this the other day. I actually got it pretty quickly. I never thought I'd ever actually have this. Um, I could never find it in the United States and I didn't feel like paying shipping fees or all that crap. And I found it online and it's very cool. Um, as you recall from, if you're a Toy Story fan or Disney fan, and if you've watched all the Disney movies, especially Toy Story, you would uh, know that this lamp is part of, uh, I think, several episodes, or movies, I should say. Um, and then they, they show as the kid grows up and the lamp gets, <laughs> actually sets on fire in uh, one of the uh, clips of, of kind of going through the age of... I'm not sure what this is on. I uh, I guess that went on there. That, that is a gigantic uh, tag. Anyways, I got this. Um, it was slightly disappointing, but since I'm an artist, I was able to fix it. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you're an artist as long as you get good hands. Um, there was, as you can see, these little sheep. Um, their eyes, and then this one's looking this way. Um, this one here only had this eye colored. This one wasn't colored at all. Like there was no black pupil or the white and his nose wasn't painted, which is rather odd. So, um, I matched the color, um, on to the other two. I put uh, the white on and then printed, um, printed, I painted, um, with a little tiny brush, the eyes. So now they're all good to go. They all look the same. Um, they look, they're looking in different directions. That is the direction that one was looking. Um, this actually looks like cloth, but it's not. You'll see in a minute. It's plastic. All of it is pretty much. It's got a soft bottom with, um, I think, a little, like a pad on it so it doesn't move around a lot. Um, this is really cool. It's not, I think if you were to have it have the life size or movie accurate size um, Bo Peep, it would be a lot bigger. Um, so... I was actually going to make myself one, but it's glad to find this because then I don't have to. Um, so anyways, the sheep, they are permanently attached. Um, I tried to lift them, but they don't lift at all. Um, however, Bo Peep lifts. I will show you that in a minute. Um, sometimes it's, I can't get it back on right quick. So we'll wait on that for a minute. And then on the side, it says, hey there, I'm removable. Lamp with detachable figurine would stand. Um, and that's obviously Bo Peep. And around the, uh, like I said, I just got this out of the box. So um, I probably might not take the plat. I don't really, in I'm not sure if I intend to use it or not. Um, it does come with a strain size light bulb. So I'll have to order those if I do. Um, I did find them on Amazon, and it does mention, um, this was, I guess, specifically, um, related to the Toy Story 4, it's a Bo Peep and Sheep Lamp, um, it's in Spanish also, um, I'm not sure if maybe that's weird, yeah, it's on, actually, I think it has a few languages on the back, and then it has this attachment, which I believe is if you want to put Bo Peep by herself on a stand. Because she does stand up by herself, but she is a little wobbly. And just a little bump could probably knock it over. So they give you this with the little pegs. Her feet, just like a Star Wars figure or most action figures, um, have peg holes on the bottom. So you can put her on there. And then uh, all that. I hate to take all this stuff off. I might just clip it off and put it aside because it doesn't wreck anything, but it's kind of annoying to have the thing on it. So, um, and I'll show you, this is where the power, all the stuff's in here. So it has the plug you can undo and then uh, the pop off and on switch. But as you can see, it has a very tiny hole. If you can see that, very tiny hole for the light. So it's a small, it's a, decent sized light bulb but the end is very narrow unlike normal um light bulbs uh sockets it does say what size to get somewhere i remember reading it so um i'll have to get the right size light bulb if i choose to do so 
Um, and as I mentioned, she comes off, as you can see, and then there has the two pegs. Um, and like I said, this almost looks like real fabric when you're just looking at it, but it's actually all plastic. Um, and has her, it's, this is the bottom. You can see her little feet and the blowhole thing where the, they blow the plastic in the thing. Um, and the paint job's pretty good. Um, I always, I always never understood why, I guess they just don't want to take the time, but, uh, the little, uh, where leak, the plastic leaks out of the mold and you can see the seams. It's just, I'm very picky about things trying to be perfect. So, um, she did also have markings on here and here somewhere, but I was able to wipe those off. Um, actually, I think this is naturally pink and then the white was put on afterwards. So I believe this is naturally pink because I scrubbed it with the magic eraser. I know that sounds horrible, but, uh, I got it off and it didn't take any paint off. So I'm not sure if that's what the base color is. But anyways, then she has the little details and the little frill uh, around her dress. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, and then as you can see, the little peg holes. Let's try to get this back on here without taking 20 years. Um, there, oops, I missed one. Don't you hate when you miss the hole? Um, there we go. So, that is pretty much it. Um, I was really surprised to find this. It's not on a normal website, so at first I was kind of cautious. I'm like, I've never really heard of this place. Um, but, uh, I got it. So, I can't complain. It makes me very nervous ordering sometimes, especially, um, from overseas. Excuse me. Oh, my lord. Um, Oh, you can see all my hair is falling out. Either that or my cat hair gets on everything. Seriously? That's another one. There, go magic tape whenever you can't get fur or something. There you go. Use tape. I find I do that a lot because I have too many cats. I love cats, but honestly, at this point, I'm about had enough of them. Um, we have six or seven cats. I'm not sure. I think we're down another one because... I've not seen him in a long time. He had dementia and um, used to show up once uh, every few weeks or a month and I've not seen him at all in months. So I think sadly he might have passed away. Um, I would have loved to have him, but I don't necessarily have to be a downer on doing this video. Um, just a lot of crap going on. Seriously, it's like static. This pla you know, as pl plastic gets staticky and then it clings all the damn cat fur everywhere. It's getting to be warmer and I think they're getting rid of their heavy coats soon. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. This nice protected plastic, this cardboard and um, the flowers all around. Love the detail of the flowers. I have it, at first I thought, like when I mentioned I was gonna make one of my own, uh, this is the part I kind of dreaded having to design all this and then try to 3D print it or something. Um, so it was great to finally find an actual one. So uh, I will try to find a space for that. And uh, like I said, I greatly appreciate you guys checking out my videos. I, If you're a Disney fan or any fan of interesting information and so on, um, I try to educate also, not just be bragging and flexing like, hey, look what I got. You don't have. I got this and you don't. I'm not like that at all. Um, I do know that a lot of people do that. Um, it's just not my thing. Only reason I, I show things is for you to, um, if you haven't seen anything or I find something that you're not able to, I try to do my best to help others. So that's the way I've always been in life. And I'm, I'm not going to change no matter how rude people treat me and stuff. It's just not my thing. It's not worth getting uh, overheated about. But I'm very happy with the, the eye thing, especially how bad my hands are. I was able to pull that off. So uh, I actually used, um, I was going to use acrylic paints, but I know that doesn't always stay well. So I used a different type of acrylic paint. Um, it's actually used for, um, hold on, they used often for shoes uh, by Angelus. Um, this paint, I used this for when I used to work on shoes. I still would, I would love to finish them, but... Uh, anyways, this is the types of paint I use when I want it to stay better. Um, it adheres better for uh, on things than regular acrylics. So there's that. Um, I thank you again. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, 
leave a like, and I will talk to you guys soon. I really appreciate you stopping by. Bye.